All right, that's a nice fun way to introduce something. What do you think it is we're looking at? Um, volume. Volume and... Yeah, so remembering that volume is the space a container takes up and what is the capacity of that particular shape. Jono? Um, how much it takes up and itself. That's right. So we've got those two things. The volume is itself and the capacity is what goes into it, how much it can take. Yes, Lucy? Volume is the whole container, everything that it has, and capacity is what can go into it. All right. So that cat was showing you that there are certain things it can fit into, and there are other things that surprisingly it could fit into, but not completely very satisfactorily. All right. So what we're going to do today is we're going to discuss the activity that we did a little while ago with regard to creating our square-based pyramid and trying to find the biggest that we could make. What were some of the things that we remember from that task that were really important when it came to creating this particular shape? Making all of the measurements on like every side all the same. Right, being really conscious of our measurements and keeping them even. What happened when that didn't happen, Matilda? It didn't work because they didn't turn out together. That's right, you had your triangles were way too small and they didn't meet, so therefore you didn't actually make the three-dimensional shape that you were required to do. Great. Lucy? We need tabs. That's right. First time we went to go and make it, what happened? We had nothing to stick it together with. We forgot to do tabs. So remember to do our tabs to make sure that that thing can stick to the sides that it's going to require. Don't make triangles. Right, don't... That's right, so make sure that the dimensions you choose for the shape that you're going to be making are going to be practical. Because if you think about the task, if we look at the task, what are the things that it says it must have? So Jacques, the dot points, the first lot of dot points. Um, stand alone, not fall over, can't be propped up. Be constructed within the constraints of the dimensions of the A3 cardboard. Um, no other card is to be used. Be robust enough to be filled with sand rice flour. All right. So if it's not able to be completely closed, it's not going to work because all the rice will fall out. So we need to keep those things in mind. So what sorts of equipment do you think we're going to need to create our new shape, which happens to be the cylinder? A ruler, a pencil and eraser, a compass, scissors, stick tape and glue. And what I would like you to make sure is when we go through, when you fill out the sheet that you know, so let's look at the second part of the task, which is the actual planning stage. You're going to be <coughs> working with your partner, discussing those sorts of things, and you're going to need to make sure that the dimensions that you are using are recorded. Because we are going to test them with the sand, but the most important thing is we're going to mathematically work out which shape is the one that can hold the most rice, so that has the greatest capacity. So, 12 centimetres long. And how wide? Uh, another 12 centimetres. Okay. Tractor, terrible jewelry. Okay, so 12 by 12. Okay. Why would it be like that? Oh, that's good. Cool. Try to make it a bit. No, you can't do it like that. Okay, I'll fill it in. So we'll move it this way and try and make this. Sure. But then we so because measure how long that is, and I'll measure how long the bottom. Is. And it's oh yeah, can you get it? It's 